They're kind of like the Alpha Lead Amplify shorts. They will sneak into every little crevice that you have. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Elaine. Welcome, welcome. I'm a weight loss health coach, a fitness enthusiast, and an activewear lover. Today we are reviewing the Majesty set from the brand Titan. They are an activewear company that also has a strong mental health message behind their brand, which I absolutely resonate with as someone who does have PTSD. Today I'm going to review the sports bra and the shorts from the Majesty set to give you an idea of what their sizing is like and what the brand quality is kind of like. Titan is a smaller brand and you don't see a lot of hype about them, but so far from my experience with these pieces, I am definitely going to be ordering some more in the future. If you're looking for my measurements, they're always down below in the description box for your convenience, as well as this video is timestamped. If you are on a desktop, it will say chapters on the side. If you're on a, on your phone, you'll just have to pop into the description box to find the timestamp for the piece that you're looking for. Usually I will timestamp the sports bra and the shorts separately. If there are additional time stamps you want me to add, let me know and I will be more than happy to do so in the future. If you're looking for ways to support me, pop over to my website www.fitnessbeyondaesthetics.com for all my merch, my discount codes, my Amazon finds, as well as my one-on-one -on -one weight loss coaching application. If you like these types of reviews, make sure to hit the like and the subscribe button. And without further ado, let's get on with this review. First, we are starting with the Majesty Sports Bra and this entire set is in their aqua black combo. The black is the contouring accents that this set has. The general details of this bra, it is an abstract pattern that does have a little bit of a lighter teal in the body of the sports bra. There is a a slight V scoop neck going on, which I find is very flattering. It is not revealing too much cleavage and actually gives quite a bit of coverage. And on the front at the bottom bra band here, you can see that they have their Titan logo. When you go into the straps there, I would say medium thickness straps. And when you go into the back, it turns into a two-tone cross strap design. The cross strap is nothing that's unique necessarily in the activewear world right now. You can find this design anywhere, but I do like that it's dual toned with the black and the aqua complementing each other. And overall, it is a very simple design, but I find that the design of the material with the abstract pattern going on does give it a bit of a unique flair along with the contouring on the side. When it comes to sizing, I would say that these bras are extremely true to size. They are a medium support and if you're someone who is between sizes, I would say that you can either size up or size down. It really depends on what you've got going on in the cup area. If you're someone who's in between sizes and you have a lot of just a lot of boob in the cup area, then you're probably going to want to size up. If you're someone who's in between sizes and you might not have a lot of just cleavage in the cup area, you might want to consider sizing down. I find that there's still quite a lot of room in this bra. So let's say I do gain weight. When I do gain weight, my chest um, actually does gain quite a bit of fat. I feel like I would still be able to wear this when I do get into my D and my double D cups because there is still quite a bit of room in this. So so if you're someone who's between sizes, don't hesitate to size down if you don't have a lot going on in the cleavage area. When it comes to the cups, they are removable cup pads, and they're not my favorite cup pads personally because you can see, at least I can see, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, that there is the outline of the bra coming through. These cup pads don't fully fill out the space in this bra. And I'm honestly, I wish that they had made the cup pads a little bit larger or just to frame the space that they'd made a bit better because the cup pads do shift around when you're working out. So for me personally, I am going to be taking the cup pads out. They're slightly plushy. They do give your girls a little bit of a lift, but I don't think it is so noticeable that you really need to keep them in there, especially if you're someone who does not like the outline of your cup pads showing through like me. 
The lower bra band that has the Titan logo on it is very comfortable. It is nice and thick. It sits on the skin. It's not pushing down my fat or anything like that. I really do like it and there's still quite a bit of stretch in it. So if you're someone like me who holds weight in your stomach area, this is going to accommodate you just fine if you stay at your true size. When it comes to side boob, I'm going to give this a medium on the side boob coverage. It's not a very deep cut, but there is still the pot potential for for side boob spillage if you're someone who does have more boobage in the cup area. So let's say you're someone who is a D or double D, you might get some more side boob spillage over here. And when it comes to the cut on the side overall, it's not directly in your armpit, it is sitting a little bit lower down. And I find that it's very comfortable. There is no cutting in going anywhere, even at the straps. The straps are sitting on my traps, but they are not cutting in. Like I said, very true to size. I'm very impressed with how comfortable this is. And there's not much to say about the contouring detail on the side. It doesn't really do much, but I do like how it just complements the shorts very nicely. When it does come to functionality, when I was working out in the sports bra, overall it was very comfortable, but keep in mind with the black and aqua color scheme, after a while of working out, the sweat does begin to pool a little bit. I could see it um, in the center here, as well as in the lower bra band, just because this is a lighter fabric. Speaking of the fabric, this is a kind of like a peachy fabric. It's not brushed like really soft to this touch like Lulu line but it is like a little bit fuzzy to the touch not super soft but it is slightly brushed I'll go with that I would recommend this sports bra for any type of exercise that you want to do I with it being a medium support unless you got really big girls that are gonna kind of hit you in the face while you're running <laughs> these are going to cover you even if you are doing a hit workout so I do really really love this bra and for the price that it is right now on sale I do highly recommend grabbing it if this is something that interests you to the majesty shorts i got a size small in this as well this entire set is in a size small and this is the same abstract pattern as the sports bra so we have the darker teal as the body color and then we have this abstract lighter teal pattern going through the entire short and then we've got black contouring on the side here these shorts are a four inch inseam so they are short shorts and they do have two pockets on the side size there is no front seam there is a titan helmet logo on the left hip as well as a titan logo in the middle of the waistband at the back and then at the back this is where you get the contouring starting down and going towards the front and you've got a seam right up the booty and some seams um along the contour that do frame the booty and make it look like a peach when it comes to sizing for the majesty shorts i'm going to say that they are very true to size if you're between sizes and you got thick thighs you definitely want going to want to size up these are not cutting in by any means they're actually sitting extremely comfortably on my thighs but i could see that if you're someone who's usually thicker thighed and you got a lot of meat going on here these could end up cutting into your thighs but there is a lot of room in the legs for me so i'm going to say that these are very very true to size the waistband for these shorts is a medium compression it does hit at my lower belly which i love i like I've said it many times on my channel before, but if you're new, I'm four foot eleven and I do have a shorter torso. So most leggings hit right above my belly, like above my lower belly. But Titan seems to have gotten the measurements right. I'm going to say this is short person approved, short person fupa approved. Like this is going to start at your lower belly and give you a little bit of tummy control. It's not the most compressive waistband. If you are between sizes and you got a, a smaller waist, I would actually recommend you size down if you want a bit more hold in the tummy area but otherwise stick with your true size or go up if you got really thick 
thighs. The waistband does have a lot of room to grow, so even on the days when you are bloated, this is going to sit nice and comfortably on you. The waistband is completely seamless, which we love, no top seams, and it's not cutting in anywhere or pushing my stomach fat up and out, no muffin top effect going on here. I really do enjoy how this sits on my skin. I did not notice it at all while I was working out. When it comes to the camel, region. So yes, I did get some camel toe in this when I was working out commando. But as you can see right now, now that I'm wearing underwear to just show off these shorts while I'm doing this review, I'm not actually getting camel toe. So I'm going to say that these are camel toe friendly like low on the camel toe scale when you are wearing it with underwear. But if you're going to go commando like I usually do, expect there to be a little bit of fabric sneaking up there, especially if you got some bigger lips on you. So these, I would say, are very low on the camel toe scale. You should have very few issues with it if you're someone who usually wears underwear with your active wear. I don't have a lot of crotch gathering in this, hence why I'm saying that these shorts are so true to size because I, I'm like, I'm just living my best life here. So for a size small, very little crotch gathering. It does fit so well. I'm very impressed by that. One thing that I'm not impressed by, however, is the issue that we run with, into with a lot of the shorter shorts is the rolling up when you are working out. Oh my goodness, these will move everywhere. They're kind of like the Alpha Lead Amplify shorts. They will sneak into every little crevice that you have. So just keep that in mind. I'm someone who doesn't mind my shorts rolling up while I'm working out. There's some days where I'll just be annoyed with it, but most of the time I do not care. So just keep in mind that these don't have like a rubber or anything to keep them in place and yeah, they will definitely roll up into your coochie as you are working out. I didn't get any like any of the back part like rolling up above my butt. Oh my goodness, my butt looks so good. Okay, but um, I, I totally lost my train of thought. Anyway, I didn't get the back part rolling up to the point where I was like flashing anyone. But if you're someone who's uncomfortable with your gym clothes or active wear moving while you're working out, these are not going to be the shorts for you, Bibby. When it comes to the booty, I am giving these a solid medium on the booty scale. I mean, look at that. The contouring definitely does help, and the stitching on the side, oh, honey, can we just take a look at that peach? Now, when you're just standing here, it doesn't look like much, but when you're working out in these shorts, like, it does give a nice accent to your butt. And also, can we just appreciate how this contour is, like, lining up with my quad right now? Damn, but I will give this a solid medium on the booty and there is a booty seam. However, you can't really hike it up too much because that's when you're gonna start flashing some people. So it is very flat. I, I will say it is quite nice and flattering and we've got the curve up for the booty seam as well as the contour. So you've got a lot of enhancements in the backside giving your peach that little pump that we like to see when we buy activewear to make our butts look bomb. Going back to its functionality, so I, for me personally, I will wear these shorts anywhere. I'll do any activity in them, but they will show sweat just like the sports bra, just because it is a lighter color. You will get some crotch sweat after a while. So if you're someone who likes to do hit or do a lot of running and you sweat a lot and you don't like crotch sweat, these are not going to be the shorts for you. Same with booty sweat. You're going to get some booty crack sweat going on if you're going to go very heavy in these shorts. All right, so we're going to go into the squat proofness. I am wearing a bright pink thong that's not seamless, so sorry if you see panty lines. Getting into the squat proofness of these shorts, I would say that they are squat proof. Keep in mind that I am a darker skinned female, so most things that may not be squat proof on someone who's lighter skin end up being squat proof on me. Yeah, even like white leggings that won't be squat proof on some of my friends are squat proof on me, so... Sorry. But I will say that I'm not seeing any pink showing through and although these are not like a double layered material I find that they are pretty good for making sure that you're not seeing a lot coming through in terms of cellulite I am going to say that these are cellulite friendly ish like the pattern does distract away from your booty um, from your cellulite a little bit, but let's say you're doing an exercise where you're squeezing like I am now You can see a little bit of my cellulite. It's not as horrible as let's say when you're working out in the Alpha Lead Amplified leggings or their shorts where your cellulite is like on full display But it is not hiding as much as it potentially could so I'm going to say that they're cellulite 
friendly definitely grab these shorts if you're someone who doesn't mind your cellulite being on display once in a while while you are working out i forgot to mention that the titan logos are a nice raised rubber logo and they do feel like they're really good quality i've already washed these shorts twice and the sports bra too because i really have been loving this set and honestly i i feel like this is such a good quality set i'm really enjoying them and the pockets on the side can fit yeah, it can fit most cell phones. I feel like if you have a bigger iPhone, you might really need to squeeze it in there, but they are quite stretchy and they can accommodate a lot of things. One minute. Like this is my Samsung Galaxy S9 and yeah, it slides in there perfectly. So the pockets are quite functional if you're someone who likes to keep your, um, keep items on you while you are working out. so much for watching make sure to hit the like and subscribe button if you found this useful and turn on your post notifications people have been telling me that youtube has actually been undoing their post notifications and or unsubscribing them i don't know what's going on with the system so definitely make sure to check if you are subscribed to this channel and to check if you have your post notifications on if you're looking for support me pop over to my website www.fitnessbeyondaesthetics.com for all my merch my discount codes my amazon finds and my one-on-one -on -one weight loss coaching application to become a client of mine let me know down below if this is a set that you're interested in or if you're going to be trying out titans items in the future i definitely have i definitely want to do another haul after trying on this set i absolutely love it it's unique and i find that their designs are still a little bit they're they're like a little bit outside of mainstream so i'm definitely wanting to do more titan hauls if you're in canada just keep in mind that yes you will be paying duties on the items from titan's website because they are i believe they are shipping from the us so there are taxes and duties that are associated with their items usually with companies where i do get charged duties i try to buy their items on sale so that the amount of money I'm saving with the discount essentially covers the duties. It's a crappy way to do it, but it is what it is when you are buying activewear from different countries, although we're all part of North America. That's fine. We're not going to go there. I appreciate you being here. Always remember that your mindset is everything. Watch the other videos on the screen and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.